What's going on? I'm John Rittinger and we are in Las Vegas for CES 2017. And I've got the pleasure of sitting with Phil from Sony Home Entertainment. Hi, Phil. How are you? And we are taking a look, I'm good, by the way. We're taking a look at the latest set and it took me a while to memorize this. This is the X90E. Exactly, the, 60, the XBR 65 X930E, if you want the full name. We'll quiz people afterwards exactly. on the full name. It's a homework assignment on it. So announced at CES. Yes. What makes this TV special? Well, this is this utilizes um, the, our latest picture quality um, uh, uh, technologies as well as a new design and an enhanced user interface. That we, and it basically highlights all the things that make Sony special. It's a nice, like, it's a nice looking set. It's got thin bezels. It's really like, thin. Tell me a little bit about. But the aesthetics of the set, people are going to put up on a wall, it's got to, it's got to look nice. Exactly. Well, well, uh, well, the challenge is how do you make a TV that looks really good um, when it's off as well as when it's on? So there's some things that we, we came with a whole new backlight system to allow the TV to be very, very thin while still giving you really good contrast. Um, as well as just little details like the design on the back. It's attention to detail. If you're buying a premium product, you want it to look and feel premium, and that's what this TV does. So let me actually ask you about the backlight. So it seemed an interesting choice to go with LCD versus OLED, which a lot of people are going with now. Why did Sony decide to go, or at least stick with, uh, LCD? Well, because of high dynamic range, or HDR, um, an LCD has a lot of advantages when it comes to brightness compared to a OLED television set. So the goal is to give you good blacks, but also maximize the brightness of the TV to make that HDR content really pop. And this technology, um, we, which this TV uses, what's called Slim Backlight Drive Plus, which is a new edge lit design to give you a lot of zones, like a full array TV, so it looks spectacular on HDR. So what's that gonna mean to someone just sitting at home watching TV? Just things are gonna look dark and brights are gonna look bright? Well, well, a lot of times when we talk, um, there's a couple of advantages. The first thing is you want to have detail in your shadows and you also want to have details in your bright areas. So you need to be able to generate really bright points on the screen as well as great um, black levels and great shadow detail. And this technology allows us to give you both of those, which makes it look more like the real world. You know, fireworks look like fireworks, gold looks like gold. It looks more realistic. So when I'm sitting at home streaming my British documentaries, they're going to look like I'm actually in like 18th century England. Exactly. It looks like we're looking out a window at the at the desert right now, and that's the goal is to make it look like you're looking through an open window. Football, you want to feel like you're at that football game or you're at that baseball game. Um, when you're you want to be immersed in what you're watching, and having really good contrast and really good color allows you to do that. So as we were setting up, I noticed something interesting about the set. A lot of people, when they set up a TV, they've got like 19 different set-top boxes plugged into it. They'll mm -hmm. use you know, a box for, for streaming, use a box for something else. This guy's actually based on Android, which people might not know that's even a thing for TVs. Can you talk a little bit about yes. what that does here? Yes, this also utilizes Marshmallow, which is the latest version of Android. Um, one of the nice things about using Android or Android TV is the flexibility. Um, your phone, lots of apps. You can always make your phone smarter. You can, you can choose to do add things such as unlock your doors or check your camera and also content. So tons of content's available. So of course you have your Netflix and your Amazon, but things, with, with the addition of things like PlayStation View, I can actually use the television set um, for live broadcast. And you'll get access to all the Google-y stuff. You'll get Google Play Movies, TV, and the App Store, right? Yeah, Google Play Movies, TV games. Um, grab yourself a PlayStation 4 controller. So it's literally um, all of your entertainment is built into the television set. You don't have to have any additional boxes. So with this set, someone's looking to buy a TV, and they want, they want the buzzwords. They want 4K, and they want HDR. Yes. Um, aside from those two things, which a lot of sets have, how is it going to handle things like audio, and I think how is it going to look up on people's wall? Exactly. So, so, so um, first thing, audio. We used to make a, a, a couple of TVs, our A's and B's, that had speakers along the side. Yeah, with the three on. Three they sounded side. great, but the TV required a bigger hole to put it into a cabinet. So people were like, oh, if you could just give me the sound of having those speakers along the side without me having to have the speakers along the side, I'd be happy. So this TV actually has a sound channel along the front. It's actually a three-way speaker. It's actually a three-way, a subwoofer, woofer, tweeter on both sides. 
and they actually fire through this channel here, so it sounds so it's actually a front firing system. So it sounds like the speakers are sitting here, but they're actually back in so there. So it sounds just like yeah, shooting. Like, yeah, exactly. And I realize it's also kind of weird for us to like film video of a TV set that's going through a camera and then people are gonna watch back on their computers. But if you trust me for anything, the picture looks really nice. Yeah, we're, we're very proud of this Televin set. The, um, even if you compare it to last year's version, the 930D, the, this new model is dramatically better, especially when it comes to, to high dynamic range. The colors really pop. It has a much bigger brain, a bigger video processor, so the picture quality is noticeably um, improved compared to even last year's television. Now, another thing I want to point out, when people talk about HDR, there's a lot of converse, conversation about brightness. Yes. But the thing you see most when you look at high dynamic range is richer color. Um, gold looks like gold, neon looks like neon, it looks more realistic. Um, a lot of times in bright areas the colors are blown out. So instead of being a bright blue or a bright red it would just be basically white. Yeah. HDR gives you rich vibrant colors and that is what you see from a distance when you walk up to this television set. So whether you look at TV from close or far away, HDR always looks better. It does look really nice. Phil, I'll try and shake your hand from this far away if I can. You're right. bigger than I am. All Phil, right. thank you. Thank you very much.